Of all the films I've made, Harvey is one of my favorites. There's just no question about that. I have a special admiration and love for that big white rabbit. I'm Captain Cinema. Years ago, I went to Los Angeles, and it's easy to see why so many people fall in love with its rich film culture. But I'm not in Hollywood, so where am I at today? Hollywood culture is so rich and influential that in Woodridge, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago, we have a loving homage to Hollywood, lovingly called Hollywood Boulevard. This dinner in a movie style atmosphere gives everyone here a taste of Hollywood without buying a plane ticket. Filled with autographed posters, celebrity appearances, themed rooms, a museum filled with props from your favorite films, plus midnight screenings of Rocky Horror every Saturday. This detailed recreation of the legendary Man's Chinese Theater is impressive, especially in the Midwest. And having been to both the actual Man's Chinese Theater and Hollywood Boulevard, I'm thoroughly impressed by this place. With props from every genre available, there's something for everyone. This place gives off the loving tribute to old school Hollywood. A time when actors had a class and a charm that you rarely find in celebrities today. When movies were made out of love and imagination, not just to make a quick buck. Now, I could review a big budget box office movie that just hit theaters, or I could do something with the prestige of an old school Hollywood. A movie that focused on great acting and clever camera work rather than a big budget and SPLOSIONS! Plus, with each or just passing, why not do a movie about a rabbit? A giant rabbit. A rabbit named Harvey. And now at last, Harvey comes to the screen. Better, richer, funnier than it ever was on the stage. Starring James Stewart as Elwood P. Dowd, America's most amiable citizen. With hilarious Josephine Hull and a grand cast. And once again, the critics are raving. Harvey is the iconic film starring Jimmy Stewart as the lovable local alcoholic Elwood. Harvey is an invisible giant rabbit that only he can see. His sister and niece live with him and are embarrassed because he invites strangers over to the house and introduces everyone he meets to Harvey. Embarrassed by Elwood, his sister decides to have him committed. But a switch happens and his sister is locked up instead. Eventually, it's a question of what's real, what's not. Is he crazy? Is everyone around him insane? Is he pretending? Or is he truly happy? Is Harvey real? I keep forgetting how great this movie is. Sure, it's old, but it's still a great movie, scoring Stewart an Oscar nomination. His performance is amazing. He's so likable and so friendly, you actually want to go over to his house every time. And when he talks, you actually want to listen to what he's saying. Oh, doctor, I... I do, you, you know, years ago, my mother used to say to me, she say, in this world, Elwood, you must be... She always called me Elwood. In this world, Elwood, you must be oh so smart or oh so pleasant. Well, for years, I was smart. I recommend pleasant. And you may quote me. I mean, you can't be mad at a scene like that. That's just the hint of magnitude of an actor that Jimmy Stewart was. While on the subject of great actors, Josephine Hull, who played his sister, won the Oscar for her performance in this movie. There's even a scene that was filmed so well, yet so subtle, it can only be a work of pure genius. At the end of it all, the movie's about happiness. Elwood is seriously happy. Even if he does have a mental illness, He's not hurting anyone and is a good person, but because he doesn't fit into what society feels is normal, gets attacked by the ones he loves. Who should just want him to be happy? It's still socially relevant today as it was back in 1950. If you find this movie, check it out. There's a reason it's a classic. That's just my opinion. Well, that about wraps it up for me. If you're in Chicago and want to experience the dinner in a movie with a touch of old school Hollywood, head out to Woodridge, Illinois and check out all that Hollywood Boulevard has to offer. It's a little bit of a hike, but it's worth the experience of it alone. I know people complain about just paying for the ambiance, but ambiance like this, it's well worth it. Especially if you have an affinity for classic movies, or just anything that catches your fancy. If you love movies and want to see anything that they have to offer, then go there, check out the museum, take a look around, watch a movie, get something to drink, 
doesn't matter because this place is actually one of the more interesting places and interesting theaters I've ever been to. And if you're there on Saturday night, check out Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs>